I did a Starry Night cup and several people actually really liked it and I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I did that. I'm using a 22 ounce fatty cup from Hog and um, I painted the cup white. I went over it about three times, so I did about three layers. I cut out a tree line, which I have reverse weeded and I'm going to put that around the cup just like this and just wrap it around the cup so that way you have your trees there and then pat that down good make sure it's good and sealed it's kind of hard to see because it's white um it's okay if it's wrinkled at the top you're going to peel it back off anyway i'm just going to make sure that this is all sat down really good <clears throat> And then I will use black gloss to paint in the trees. And then everything around that, I'll use my Bombay inks on. So just pat this down really good and then go in on those empty air, uh, areas and paint it with the black gloss. You're probably gonna have to do two or three layers of that to get it good and um, thick so you can't see through it anymore. And after I do that, I'll come back. So I'm just painting over this stencil and it's going to look streaky and weird. But after I let it dry for four hours, I will come back and do it again. And I'll do that until it's as solid looking as I want it to look and then I'll peel it off. Don't forget to paint the bottom. And be back okay so I took off my stencil and it left me with this tree line and sometimes when I pull off the vinyl even though I'm using the 631 it'll remove even the white so I go back in with a paintbrush and just touch up in areas where it did that using um, my paintbrush and the black gloss. It's okay for me if it looks, you know, not perfect, perfect, because I think it looks better when it's not perfect. Um, but you can do it however you want. And then the inks that I'm gonna use are the blue, magenta, and violet. Um, I use just a kitchen sponge, and I mean, it's dry. I'm gonna wet it so that it's softer um, squeeze out all the excess water and then I'm going to um, just dip it in the inks and start with my pink and then go into purple and then um, end with blue and just kind of blend those together as I go and that's all I'm gonna do um, so I will come back after I get started with the inking I need to get some materials together to get started Okay, so I've dampened my sponges. I've gotten a plate just because it's easier for me, and I've put my pink in there. Um, I can't remember if I told you, but these are Bombay inks that I'm using. Um, I love them. They're really bright, and they don't require any type of sealing. So I'm going to start here, just dabbing it on. Just using my sponge try to get all the white. It's okay that there's bubbles because we're going to get off the excess anyway. Okay. That was probably hard to see. I apologize. gonna dab it get excess off I 
I want to try to make this uneven too because I don't want it to be perfectly even then it's going to have a line and it's going to look I don't know not necessarily like it blends good so it's kind of jagged you'll see it's not a perfect line okay I'm going to switch over to my purple or violet is what it's called from the Bombay inks Sorry, you can hear my turners in the background. It's probably annoying and loud. I apologize. I'm going to go back to my pinks. I'm going to try to blend these areas. You'll see how I go back and forth with that. It kind of makes that line not so harsh between the pink and the purple. And I'll just keep doing that until it gets as smooth looking of a transition as, as I want. Um, I'll even go through and maybe kind of swirl it a little bit. You just gotta play with it until it looks kind of like you want it to look. Um, but I'll go all the way down so that it blends well. I like how that's looking, so I'll move on to the blue. Oh, good. This is a really pretty bright blue. And it gets darker as it dries too. It did on my other cup. I don't want it to be too drippy because I don't want it to run. I know a lot of people use alcohol inks. I personally never use them, but I love Bombay inks. I just think they work really, really well. And I like the fact that I don't have to seal them because I hate sealing things. Probably because I'm really impatient.
go back to my purple again so that I can try to blend these a little bit better. And I'll just go back and forth between my blue and my purple just to try to get that line to blend better. And after I have all that blended, I'll come back. So I have blended it as much as I want to. I think it looks really cool. You can blend however you want. And I'm gonna let this dry for about four hours. That's really all it needs. It doesn't need to dry overnight. Once it's dry, then what I'm going to do is sprinkle just a tiny bit of Meteor Shower Glitter. Um, I use that. It's from the Glitter Guy. Um, you can use whatever you have, but it's really, really tiny, fine glitter. Um, it has a little bit of a sparkle. So what I'll do is I'll lightly sprinkle it on the sky area. You can do it on the tree line if you want as well. And then um, after that dries and I seal that, I will start my layers of BT until it's smooth and then you'll put whatever saying you want on it. So um, I'll, I'll come back to show you how I sprinkle that glitter on and then after that you should be good to go and be able to make your own. Okay, so it's dried, looks good. I actually didn't even wait four hours. It was pretty dry in um, a couple hours. Alright, so I'm going to take some BT and I'm going to put some on it. I use my finger. You can use a brush if you prefer. I'm just going to get a good layer on here. sure I get some on the bottom. So the glitter I used on the other one was Meteor Shower, and that's what it looks like. But I also have one called Disco Dust, and that one has a little bit more color in it, so I think I'm going to use that one on here. So I'm going to take and put it a little bit of that in a little cup, just because I don't I want to sprinkle too much on there, so I'm going to take my fingers and just pinch a little and do that over top of it. And that's how I put the glitter on. You have as much sparkle or as little as you want. really fine glitter. Okay, so I think that's good enough. And you'll see. I'll try to put sorry on my finger. It's 
kind of hard to see my lighting in here is really bad, but you'll see that little twinkle that you get. Yeah. And once you're done with that and you get good smooth layers up, then you can put your saying on. Here's my other one. I just added mine. And it says, if the stars were made to worship, so will I. And I'm going to use the same wording um, with the little stars on there um, on the other cup as well. So if you have any questions, let me know.